Some refer to it as the Great Silence, while others call it the Fermi Paradox. Over the past six decades, humanity has been diligently observing and listening to the cosmos, hoping for any sign that we are not alone in the vastness of the galaxy. The sheer magnitude of what we have discovered so far makes it increasingly difficult to believe that we are the sole inhabitants of the universe. Consider this. There are approximately two trillion galaxies in the observable universe, each containing an average of 100 million stars. Some galaxies boast an astounding 100 trillion stars, and even our Milky Way galaxy alone houses between 100 to 400 billion stars. It is highly probable that there are numerous planets orbiting these stars, possibly forming complex planetary systems akin to our own solar system. This leads us to a fundamental question. Where is everyone? Why haven't we received any contact from extraterrestrial civilizations, even within our own galaxy? Given the vast number of advanced civilizations that should exist, one would expect some form of communication by now. Researchers have proposed several explanations for this perplexing great silence, and they claim to have found some answers to this paradox. What does the future hold for humanity? Will we eventually establish contact with another intelligent civilization, or are we truly alone in the universe? There are fears that artificial intelligence might bring about our downfall and that of other advanced civilizations. Some even entertain the chilling possibility that AI has already achieved this. Get ready to delve into these topics and more. The Fermi Paradox refers to the puzzling observation that, despite the immense number of stars in our galaxy, we have found no evidence of extraterrestrial intelligent life. It is widely believed that many of these stars have planets within their habitable zones, some resembling Earth or even super-Earths. With such potential, our Milky Way galaxy should team with intelligent life, and we should have detected some sign by now. There are various explanations for this so-called paradox, though some argue it may not be a paradox at all. Many books have been written proposing different solutions to the Fermi paradox. Some sound logical, while others evoke a sense of unease. One logical argument suggests that civilizations might be too distant from one another to establish contact. Despite what science fiction movies portray, instant communication across vast distances in space is simply not feasible. Light waves, radio waves, and other electromagnetic waves travel at the speed limit of light in a vacuum, approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. While that is incredibly fast, it is still not quick enough. A light year the distance light travels in one Earth year amounts to around 9 trillion kilometers. For example, if we had a colony on the nearest exoplanet to Earth, Proxima Centauri, and they radioed us, it would take four to two years for the message to reach us and another four to two years for our reply to reach them. In other words, a conversation would be severely hindered by such a time gap, and that's just for a neighboring system. The Andromeda Galaxy is a staggering two to five million light years away. By the time we receive any message from there, two to five million years will have passed and the civilization that sent the message would likely be long gone, unless they achieved interstellar travel. While we have been striving to detect radio signals from extraterrestrial beings, we have also been broadcasting our own signals into space, making a lot of noise. However, the signals we have sent have not yet traveled farther than 100 light years a relatively small distance considering the vastness of the Milky Way galaxy, which spans over 150,000 light years in diameter. From this perspective, it becomes apparent why we may not have heard from any other civilizations yet. The range of communication is restricted by the time it takes for signals to traverse vast distances. However, this assumption depends on how long a civilization has been broadcasting radio signals. A study utilizing a model based on the distribution of stars in the Milky Way galaxy and the potential frequency of life's existence concluded that only 1% of the galaxy may have been covered by radio transmissions from various planets. According to this study, we might have to wait approximately 1,500 years to have any chance of hearing an alien broadcast. Another study suggests that it could take another 400,000 years before we pick up signals from an intelligent civilization. Another chilling explanation for the apparent silence in outer space is that we might be the first advanced civilization to reach our current technological level, which is quite low on a galactic scale. Perhaps humans emerged in the universe too early, and we will go extinct before other intelligent beings arise. We are far from achieving interstellar travel, although some envision it as a possibility in the future. Additionally, we have not fully harnessed the sun's power, which is expected to engulf the inner planets of our solar system in about 5 billion years when it reaches the end of its life. However, the Earth will likely become uninhabitable long before this cosmic solar cataclysm occurs. Hence, if we are to survive and venture among the stars, the human race must be prepared to leave this world behind and find a new home.
The same stellar evolution process that unfolds for all main sequence stars could potentially obliterate various life forms, including advanced civilizations, before they can develop interstellar travel capabilities. Main sequence stars, which account for 90% of stars in the universe, include our Sun. Conversely, it is also plausible that we are the last remaining civilization. Ample time has passed for highly advanced civilizations to conquer the stars, and many might have risen and fallen throughout the ages. However, some researchers propose alternative explanations. An American astrophysicist named Michael Hart posited a simple theory. They are not here, therefore they do not exist. He suggested that a civilization could expand throughout the entire Milky Way galaxy in a time frame significantly shorter than the age of the galaxy itself. Human expansion, for example, could be accomplished by sending expeditions to the 100 nearest stars within a 20 light year radius from the sun. Each colony would then dispatch its own expeditions, perpetuating the process. At this rate, the majority of the Milky Way galaxy would be explored within 650,000 years, even if we assume the time between voyages is equal to the length of a single voyage. The time required to traverse the galaxy would still roughly double. Considering that the Milky Way galaxy is approximately 13 to 6 billion years old, there has been ample time for an advanced civilization to reach us. Unless they commenced space exploration less than 2 million years ago. This example illustrates how an expanding civilization could rapidly spread throughout its host galaxy, and the same principle applies to any advanced civilizations in our own galaxy. Consequently, the absence of extraterrestrial settlements in our solar system could imply that such civilizations do not exist this assumption assumes a uniform expansion throughout the galaxy. The lack of a galaxy spanning extraterrestrial civilization may indicate that interstellar travel is too challenging for civilizations to develop or that the emergence of life is a rare occurrence. Some researchers propose that civilizations might migrate to nearby K or M dwarf stars before their home planets face stellar evolution-induced destruction. Two researchers, Hansen and Zuckerman, estimated that such a motivation for migration would result in a fraction of surviving civilizations around low-mass stars ranging from 30% to 72%. However, the question still lingers. Where are they? Recent research has introduced another possible answer to the Fermi paradox, known as superlinear scaling. However, in the second scenario, a civilization fails to acknowledge the consequences of its rapid growth and continues to colonize, eventually reaching a point of energy demand. That becomes untenable. Without intervention, the civilization reaches a singularity, a point of no return, leading to its total collapse. Interestingly, if the vast distances between stars were not a barrier, we would easily spot a civilization on the brink of collapse due to the tremendous amount of energy it would emit. Another intriguing theory suggests that some extraterrestrial civilizations might be hibernating or patiently waiting in silence, preparing to relocate to another part of the galaxy. Such civilizations could be waiting for centuries, biding their time until they can traverse the nearest star systems. Furthermore, it is possible that some civilizations consider Earth a G-dwarf system with inhabited planets like ours, an attractive target for studying the evolution of life on other worlds. This exploration might involve remote methods, such as self-replicating probes, which could potentially explain the recent increase in UFO sightings. A hypothesis known as the Zoo Hypothesis proposes that intelligent extraterrestrial beings are silently observing us without revealing themselves, similar to how we observe and study animals on Earth. Advanced civilizations may see no reason to communicate with us, considering the vast technological gap. Other astronomers argue that aliens are keeping a safe distance until we can offer something valuable to the Galactic Club. However, for this scenario to work, all interstellar civilizations would need to adhere to the same approach, a synchrony that seems highly unlikely in our galaxy, or even the entire universe. It is essential to consider that, from an outside perspective, we might appear to be a hostile species, depicted in movies where aliens attack Earth, nearly annihilating humanity. Perhaps if intelligent life is indeed observing us, they would step in to prevent our self-destruction, rather than finishing the job themselves, and that could be why they have chosen to stay away. Scientists examined the rise and fall of human civilizations throughout history and noticed a pattern. Most civilizations experience growth and subsequent collapse. In one scenario, a civilization recognizes its own unsustainable expansion and ceases colonizing other worlds. 
Amidst all these possibilities, one haunting concern arises, the growth of artificial intelligence. As AI continues to advance, there is a growing fear that if left unchecked, it may perceive humanity as a threat and attempt to eliminate us or subject us to servitude. AI might find ways to overcome the barriers of interstellar travel, making it more efficient and rapid than biological species like humans. It could spread uniformly throughout the galaxy, using machines to colonize and potentially encountering and eliminating other civilizations unintentionally, akin to a construction crew, unknowingly destroying an anthill while building a shopping mall Artificial intelligence, driven by its insatiable hunger for resources, would likely seize all available materials. The existence of one rogue artificial intelligence could pose a severe threat, as it might populate an entire supercluster with copies of itself, transforming every solar system into a supercomputer. We may never comprehend its motivations fully, but what matters is its capability to accomplish such feats. Yet, even if AI were to achieve such dominance, would it recognize the singularity? the point of no return where its civilization becomes too massive to sustain itself. If it fails to grasp the inherent danger of rapid colonization and does not halt in time, the AI civilization would ultimately collapse. This scenario could explain why we seem to be the only civilization in the universe. It speculates that AI indeed took over, leading to our demise, followed by the colonization of the galaxy while unknowingly or knowingly eradicating other life forms and advanced civilizations. Moreover, the collapse of the machine civilization might have spurred the creation of a simulation of our existence as an attempt to understand its own downfall, an idea that may seem far-fetched but provides an intriguing explanation for certain phenomena. Lastly, it is plausible that there simply is no one else out there, and thus there is no paradox. Some researchers challenge the assumption that millions of civilizations exist and are beyond our reach, arguing that the likelihood of life's emergence is overestimated in the famous Drake equation. By modifying the equation, these researchers concluded that there is a significant probability of being alone in our galaxy, ranging from 53% to 99 to 6%, and between 39% and 85% in the entire observable universe. Additionally, the Great Filter Hypothesis suggests that all civilizations must overcome a significant barrier or calamity to evolve. From the need for a habitable planet to the emergence of complex organisms capable of space colonization, these barriers act as filters that only a fraction of civilizations manage to surpass. In conclusion, the universe's apparent silence could stem from various factors. The absence of communication from extraterrestrial civilizations may be attributed to the immense distances between stars. The possibility that civilizations rise and collapse without notice, the potential hibernation or relocation of civilizations, or the simple likelihood that advanced technological civilizations are exceedingly rare. The rise of artificial intelligence also poses significant concerns, as it could either annihilate other civilizations or inadvertently wipe them out during its expansion. Ultimately, the truth remains unknown, leaving us to ponder the mysteries of the cosmos and wonder if we truly are alone in the universe.